How's that, bro? How's the bar crossing? Oh, it wasn't too bad. Piece of piss, eh? Yeah, piece of piss. It's always nerve wracking. I had a nervous piss, but we went out and we counted the interval between the big sets and then washed it for a while and then we're pulling out and saw the gap and gunned it. It was sweet, didn't even do any choice jumps today. Yep. It is always a bit nerve wracking and bars are not to be taken lightly. Oh, dolphins. There's a heap of white bait out here today. They're just pouring up the river when we're having a look at the bay. Was, They're pissing in. Ah. We catch one blue nose, that's the same as two buckets of white bait, isn't it? Oh, they're those little Hector's dolphins. Oh, they? Yeah. We've got the Kekorangi rebar sinker that Millsy's made up. They look pretty good actually, 12 bar, three lots of 12 bar rebar, 12 mil rebar taped together with a little uh, hook for the line to go through. So we're going to give these a nudge because sinkers are bloody expensive. What's one of these worth? Three bucks for three of them. Three bucks for three of them. So this is a dollar. This is worth a dollar instead of nine bucks for a lead sinker. So we'll let you know how they go and if they work good we'll uh, sell them to you for ten bucks each. <laughs> no. Five, bucks. Five bucks. Yeah, half price, half price. How much is this? 20 ounce? 24. 24? That might be 28. 28 ounce. Shit. 30. 30. Shit. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah, we'll let you know. It's just three bits of 12 mil rebar taped together. Trying some new hooks out, some Black Magic KLT 7 bar O. There's a few trumpeter out here, so. Well, there sometimes is. There may be some trumpeter out here. We're going to give them a crack. Uh, does anyone catch trumpeter on a regular basis? And if so, what is your preferred bait for trumpeter? Please let me know. Comment below. Cheers. What you got? Same. Yeah. That's it. We're moving. Probably too early for the pocket to be in the shallow water anyway, so we're going to boost out, get some blue nose. Another 20 minutes out to sea. Can't even see New Zealand now. I chucked the compass in just in case my electronics shat the bed. <laughs> we could get back to, to shore because when it's cloudy like this, it's really hard to tell which way is which because you just you can't see. There's no sun, there's no shadow of the mountains or anything. It's just cloud all the way around. Uh, we just boosted past our baby blue nose spot and there was a couple of hillbillies fishing there. They weren't catching much. They were very courteous, courteous and polite, unlike that other dick, Sean, that we saw there last time. So we uh, invited them to come to our secret blue nose spot where the big ones are. Cheers, mate. Slow fishing this morning. Very slow. We're going to move back west. I think we've come too far east. Drifted off the top of the mount. Ah, it's a long way to wind for a stinking sea perch. There you go. Broccoli. Oh, yep. Oh, I didn't see that one on there. I was too busy looking at my video camera. I think we're going to move spot, go somewhere else. The old uh, mouldy fishing calendar said it was going to be stink today. Goes all right, eh? That's blue nose sashimi. It's pretty good.
come on, bite it properly. This stinking sea perch. Baby blueies. Oh what? A stink. He's all wrapped up. There's not even a marco. Oh, a little blue. We thought we had a marco shark, but it was a blue shark. Oh, I've cut. <laughs> I got on a roll and I completely forgot to video the filleting and the staking of the blue nose. I was looking forward to showing you fellas how I staked the blue nose up too. You missed it. Anyway, take the spines out first and then stake it. It's a pretty simple process. Chili bin full of fertilizer. A couple of bags full of fish. Pretty slow day. That was the slowest day we've ever had at the trench actually. But still pretty good. And now we're just waiting for the tide to come in a bit so we can cross that bar. Looks like it's alright now, actually, we might go give her a nudge, give the boat a bit of a clean, then home James. Bit of an early finish today, too, eh, bro? Yeah. Like, what time do we usually get home? On dark. Yeah, right on dark, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 bloody so, filleting fish till midnight. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Pretty good. So, the verdict is out on these rebar sinkers, they're mean as. They drop just as quick, if not quicker, than the lead sinkers. they cheap as chips. Hey dogs, good hey dogs. Found some potatoes. How old are they? Ten years old. No, they're just yeah. Awesome. Oh my god, look at these worms. How fat they are. Hold them up. He doesn't look that big, but he's fat. Yep, spring is definitely hitting the lowlands. Garden is cranking. Cranking. Hasn't quite come away further up the riverbeds yet. The grass is still only just starting to grow. So don't all rush to the coast to shoot a deer. For one, the 1080's killed most of them. And two, the bloody grass isn't growing yet. And three, I want to shoot them first. I'm very proud of my garden. Our garden. It's doing real good. And I owe that in part to the fish. So thanks DNA. Get a boat. Look at the wasabi stew driver. It's really loving its new home there. It's cranking. Look at it. Cheers, guys. Mm. Pretty good for an Aussie bear. Cooper's Brewery. Hey, Dan, you want to go fishing tomorrow? Yeah, mate. Keen as mustard. Keen as. Sign me up. On the line. Okay. Where are we going? Hug a ticket trench. Oh, wait, you're over there. Hug a ticket trench. You guys don't care where I look when I say I can take a chance. I don't bother, eh? Look at me, I'm a filmmaker. I'm getting all the angles right. I'm not actually. I cocked that one up. But we didn't get enough filleting footage, so we're going We're going out fishing just to get you guys some filleting footage. We also didn't catch a swordfish yesterday. We only had one drop, and it was a half ass drop. So tomorrow we're going to go out and give it a couple of drops, and we're going to get catch some blue nose. And might talk Charlie into coming. Kristen's making noises about coming, but... Oh, it's not too bad. Well, well, we're here at the bar. It's not looking fantastic. There's uh, some big rollers coming in there. It's forecast to be pretty good conditions. But there is some decent rollers. I mean, look.
crack and come across that bar, I tell you, it sunk a lot of boats over the years, but that was a piece of piss. Bit of a drilling rush, eh? Some of those are small holes, some have big holes. In case you fellas missed it in some of the previous videos, we're just using these little green beads on the on the main line just so when you wind right up the swivel doesn't smash into the rod tip and wreck your rod guides line guides what are they called uh, you know what i mean <laughs> the things your line goes through nice that's one as long as the gapey hook's really exposed so it can roll into the corner of their mouth now, when you're using the recirc hook guys or circle hooks just make sure that that gapes exposed so then when they do take it into their mouths that hook's got plenty of room to roll in and hook them and it doesn't get uh, caught up with bait and slide out again that makes sense that way you'll increase your hook up rate bring the boys to my secret shark and sea perch spot Right there and scored it. Go, 
Tikorangi swordfish bait. No swordfish. We're going to move somewhere else because there's obviously none down here anyway. It's a big ocean. Might go to the other spot where we got the uh, got the bites last time. Wick is just dropping too because we've got some quite good sign on the bottom so we're going to see what's down there. Could be where the harp hooker are. Ah, oh, no swordfish today. Again. Didn't even get any bites today but Wick has got something. It's certainly not a swordfish but it's something. And then I think we're just going to go and try catch some trumpeter until the sun goes down because we can't go back across the bar until last light so we're committed. Long wine day, 450 metres. Anyone wants to sponsor me electric reel, let me know. <laughs> I'll quite happily take it. Jesus. Double ling. Hold them right up high. Right up there. Oh, they're ugly, aren't they? Oh, they are ugly. Right, look at the state of it. Jeez, good wine there, mate. Solid effort, 450 metres, two lings. Probably had that first one, eh? And then, and then dropped it and got another one. I'm going to show you fellas how I stake up the uh, fish. First of all, cut the fins out, top and the bottom. And then you chop the bloody wings off and then you cut them up. Easy. Head soup, no fish head stock. I'm gonna make stock out of fish heads and I'm gonna smoke the frames up. Yes, smoke frames for dinner. Oh, Oops, sweet.
Dinner time! We should be the hillbillies on our boat, eh? <laughs> Crooked teeth and bloody shit haircuts. <laughs> yeah, I'll just film, just go, bro, do whatever you're doing. And I don't know what I'm doing. Good night, Dad. Good night, buddy. Big hug. Endangered species, my ass. Your son was bad. Cut him into pieces. Then he come back to life and he was your son again. Yes, good dogs.